Open up the document supplied activity 211 start and we're going to get some practice creating primitive shapes using this Android logo that is put into a layer in the background. So we're going to first focus on Artboard 1 and if you look at this it really is just a combination of different primitive shapes and um, quite easy to recreate. So we're not getting into combining shapes yet, we're just literally creating shapes uh, for this object. So I'm going to take the ellipse tool and I'm just going to position over here and then if I hold down shift and alt I draw a perfect circle from the center out. So I'm going to go to there and I'm just going to line that up. Okay and go back to my selection tool and if I hold down alt can you see the way I can change it from the left and the right. So I'm just going to change it slightly and I want to put um, no that's fine I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to also put no fill and a black stroke just so that I can see what I'm doing. I'll make that two pixels. Alright um, now I'm going to take my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle the size of this arm take my selection tool and drag on the little corner thing to make it rounded on the corners then I'm going to hold down alt and drag a copy over there and another one over there and another one over there then I'm going to take my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle for the body just make it a bit smaller and then I'm going to switch to my direct selection tool click away and then just select these bottom two points holding shift and drag on the corner radius so that just the bottom is rounded okay for this ellipse I'm going to take this little handle and I'm going to change it to a half ellipse Okay, and let's just move it up a little bit and squish it down. And okay, that's better. Um, and then I want to make the eyes, so that's just going to be ellipses holding shift to make sure that they are perfect circles and alt to draw from the center out. Okay, then I'm going to selection tool, tool, alt, drag, copies. Okay, they're not exactly matched up, but that's good enough. Then I'm going to make the antenna with um, rectangle tool. Make a little rectangle like that. I need to zoom into it to, to be able to get to the corner handles. And then I'm going to round it off like that. And then I'm going to position it. And let's just zoom in a little bit here. It needs to be a bit narrower. I'm going to position it and take my rotate tool and set the pivot point to there and then just rotate it around. Okay, then I'm going to reflect that. So I'm going to take that, go to my rotate tool, hold it down, choose reflect set my reflection point as the center of the object and then reflect around holding shift so that it snaps to 45 and 90 degrees and then alt to make a copy before i release my mouse okay if you thought if if when i did that if you thought what then you need to do it in an easier way which is object transform reflect and then you say copy and then you just move that across by nudging with your arrow keys. Okay, that's an easier way if you don't like the shortcuts. 
Okay, so even though we've got sort of overlapping stuff here and that, we're going to deal with that when we get to working with compound shapes and combining shapes together. But we've got everything we need now to make our Android logo. So I'm going to select everything. I'm going to change the fill and remove the stroke. And the eyes need to be white. And then select everything and group it. Okay, so easy peasy. Um, just with primitive shapes, you can create something like the an Android logo. So I want you to do that first. Once you've done that, I want you on Artboard 2 to make your own Android. So your own robot, basically, out of just primitive shapes. So I've Googled um, robots made from shapes and there's lots of really cool examples here so you can google this and go and look for yourself to get some ideas but you'll see that there's lots of different types of robots that you can create with just shapes so let your imagination run wild and just get used to making shapes arranging them into interesting um, characters i hope you've enjoyed this video uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel and see you next time